five round title fight coming up. Harry Stars will take it on Robert Hale. I love how Hill throws that hook over the top. Let's watch that tonight. Really good head movement by Robert See, Hale. right there. Oh, great head movement. Nice jab. Stars are landing a, a left uppercut. Robert Hill staring right at the torso. Well, you know the thing too, hackers, what's throwing me off just a little bit is that you never see Hill pressure. You never see him right. hunt, his, hunt his opponent down. He's always sitting back countering, which is great. Maybe he saw something in Perry that he feels like he needs to pressure Perry. Orthodox versus Southpaw matchup here. But I love how he throws the jab out. And this is a five round fight. We got to remember that. Five rounds, five minutes per round as well. Yeah, there you if, go. if you're not familiar with the rules. There you go. These are gross. Oh! oh! Straight left lance from Perry. Hale's back up. But Hale's doing a really good job. He's, he's scoring with that jab. Oh, big head kick. Barely missed. Hale needs to get back on his jab. I think so too. I mean, he was doing really well with the jab. But his pressure, Perry, he's got Perry's back up against the jab. Perry's got to watch that. Coming right over the top, Perry. So now Perry is, is the gentleman who is counter striking. He's waiting for Hale to commit and get in. And he's just ripping off three or four shots very fast. He is. It's kind of like they swapped. Like, like Perry's always the one pressuring, Robert's not, and, and they kind of swapped in this fight. But when, when Hale throws that jab out, he's, he's, he's landing that jab 90% of the time. Watch this body kicks open for Perry on the left side. See right there, the left body kick. Oh, oh head kick. Big head kick cracking for Robert That got Hale. Perry's attention. Landed flush. Blood on the nose of Perry Stargell. I don't think Perry liked that too much, man. It kind of got him a little bit. Landed very flush. It did. You don't, you don't see Robert Hill throw a lot of head kicks. That's the thing. It kind of surprised Perry a little bit. The head kicks are available for both guys in the, the Southpaw versus Orthodox exactly. fight. But it's the battle on who's going to bid on the outside. It's the battle who's going to win the front foot on the outside to stay on the outside. Nice exchange by both men. And when both Perry men gets in, he explodes. Yeah, he does. Nice little hook right there. And a measured approach here in this first round somewhat from both fighters. Again, a five round fight, 25 minutes of action potentially. And you, and you watch these pros, man, just how good they are. They're not throwing the throw, everything's calculated. And I'm really impressed with Hell, man. I like how he's moving forward. In the past two fights that he's had with us, he never moved forward. And I like him like this, I like him moving forward. I've never seen Perry on his heel like this either, to be honest. Ever seen Perry on his heel. He's not really cutting a lot of angles. He's going straight back. Just under a minute remaining here in the first round. Perry's nose busted up a little bit off them jabs from Robert Hill. Oh, that was a nice little shot right there by Perry Stargell. Kick caught for Hale. Kick blocked. 10 seconds remaining. I mean, you know, we're talking about 
Hale's jab. I like to see Perry's jab. Where's Perry's right, jab? Yeah. yeah, you know, he's not really throwing it. Razor thin first round there between Hale and Storgel for your B2 Fighting Series welterweight championship. Great first round. Great first I mean, round. very technical. Well, I mean, play straight left lands for Stargell, drops Hale. Who are we scoring that round for? I would give it to, I would have to give it to Hale. Yeah. Very close, I'll say this. I feel as though the judges will probably give it to Hale because of the bloody nose. But Stargell, that's what I'm thinking. But Stargell did, I mean, rock him, you know, but he rocked, he rocked Perry with a head kick too. Right. It's a close round. If they gave it to either one, I wouldn't argue it, to right. be honest. But the doctor was taking his time getting in. Jeremy Penner's like, hurry up, man. Like, my dude's nose is bleeding. We only got, you know, 45, 60 minutes. Come on. And I agree with it, 100%. Got to have a little bit of urgency here. All right, I think Perry needs to, you know, needs to get active, though, a little bit more. I think Perry needs to have a little bit more volume in this second round. I believe I heard Doug Usher over here in that corner yelling that Perry's keeping his left hand low and they're calling for Hale to throw the overhand right. And that's what he's good at. He throws that. We talked about that before this fight. Watch that overhand coming over. He'll set him up with it too. That's the thing. Perry's hand is low. Good head movement by Robert Hill here. But the head movement doesn't work if your feet don't move as well. No, no, they, no they you're have, right. They have to be in unison, which is what makes Robert Hill so good because yep. he's moving both his head and his feet. And can still throw power right. by, you know, with doing that. That's the thing. Stargell just looks a little off just a little bit, man. I, I just, you know, he just throws more in volume. But maybe, you know, Robert's a hard puzzle to figure out, too. So. And it's a five round oh, fight. It's back of the head. Stargell's. But that was an accidental back of the head. Hale listening to his corner very yeah, well. I'm wondering how much that head kick hurt Perry in the first That's round. That's what I'm wondering, too. We could too. still be seeing the effects of that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, he's just off a little bit to me. But he could be, you know, he knows this is a five-round war, man. Absolutely. So, you know, he could be saving his gas tank. Which would be a wise game plan. True. Such great reactions from Hale. He see, it's like his corner says, he sees everything he does. And, and Stargell is just as fast as they come. He might. As yes. fast as any welterweight we have in B2 Fighting Series. And Hale just sees it all coming. <laughs> Hale's just circling away. Just look at the counter. Start, start circling to his left. He's circling towards the right hand I know. of Robert Hale. You figure Jeremy and them would be all over that. But, you know, really, man, that, that, that hook, that left hook that Perry throws, or that uh, Robert Hale throws, I've seen him knock out a few people with that left hook, too. So I don't think it matters which way you turn <laughs> when you fight a guy like Robert Hale. That's right. See, there's. there's the blood on the face of Stargell. I'm watching Perry's eyes. He's blinking a lot, right? I mean, is, yeah. is he still rocked or not? We don't know, but I'm just saying that it's looking like he's just blinking a lot. It's that kick from Hale. Hale's just staying very active. Right. Moving. Hale knows that left head kick's coming. Jab, fainting it. Yeah. 
But see, Robert will do this. He'll lull you into these kind of fights where he'll just sit there and counter, and, and, and he's good at it, man. It's an art, and he's very good at it. He'll lull you in to where you're not throwing nothing. He's only throwing to counter. Well, he's so difficult to hit. He, so, that's the problem. It's so frustrating. I've never fought Robert Hill, but I yeah. would imagine you go, you have to find yourself in a position where you go, well, everything I'm throwing, I'm not hitting, so what do I do? Yeah. There's a straight, a straight left that lands for Stargell. Exactly. 25 seconds left into round number two. Nice check right there by Perry. Nice left hand. But you see, but he's, just, but he's gone. He's, he's gone. gone. He's gone. He's like, oh, where'd he go? He's like Houdini. Every time Stargell comes straight oh, down the nice. line, but you see Hale still to the left. Yeah. When, when Stargell's running straight down the line, Hale's gone. That is so frustrating as as a an attacker and Perry right. Stargell in that moment. Perry's looking like grabbing his nose or something. His nose is probably busted. I mean, it's busted for sure. I don't know if it's broke or not, but look at this replay. That's that overhand you're talking about that we talked about before this fight started. Perry, or uh, Robert Hill's so good with that. Head kick blocked, but the toes get through, they'll still do damage. Oh, yeah. Here's the thing. Perry keeps going to that left kick. I think he needs to get away from it. He, he's throwing it to throw it, and, and, and it hasn't landed at all. We're mixing it up. Usually we see Perry mixing it up with the hands, with the knees. We even see him in the high clinch with good knees inside. I would like to see him get back to that. But if anybody knows what he needs to be doing, that's Jeremy Pinter. So, you know, he's definitely getting good coaching over there in between the second and third round. And, and, and look, I think Robert just stay what you're doing. Stay true to what you're doing. It's Absolutely. working. Absolutely. the body there for for Stargell. Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. So Hale's corner is saying that Perry's down for that overhand right there, off the jab. Straight left does land for there for Stargell. Looks like you kind of woke Hale up there. Like Hale thought about throwing the right he, hand there and he pulled it back. He pulled it back. It, it, it appeared to be there, however. Nice jab. Straight right landing as well. Hell finding a home, but Sturgill's always dangerous. A lot of volume from Hill. A lot. I think it's I think it's kind of got Perry off a little bit, man. I don't think he was thinking Robert was gonna come here and throw this much volume. I think he thought Robert was gonna counter him. Robert's looking good in here. And a lot of support for Hale in the crowd here. Yeah. And, and some of that support coming from pro fighters. Oh so yeah, for sure, yeah, man. I it, mean it's almost like Hale has, you know, five or six corners. He's actually got more than that. There's about four of them behind there, corner and two, so. But yeah, I mean, he's from Atlanta, hometown guy. That's the way nice. the game goes. But see, even when Perry pursues Hell, Hell's just so gone, man. He just, there's nobody there. One thing Perry doesn't need to do is start chasing. He can't chase. Nice Stiff landing right there for Hell. Now this corner's calling for the for the jab pull one two. They're wanting to pull out the lead hand of Perry Stargell. There you go, nice left hand by Perry. Hell does have to be aware his chin is starting to come up just a bit when Stargell runs down the line. 
starting to come up just a bit. Conditioning a little bit. And right. And what happens in the fourth and fifth round, you know, when you get really tired, man? Or, see? Ooh, that straight left landed flush for Starkville. So, look, this third round, he's starting to land. He's starting to land that, that left. That's the third hard time he's landed that left in this round. And Hell's going to have to be get back to being active with that jab. Step in elbow missing for Robert Hell there. But I love that. I, Something you know, else. Yeah, just mixing it up. And let's talk about this. Zero shot attempts by either guy so far. That is true. And I didn't think there would be, man, to be honest. I, I really didn't. I thought that maybe we would see some tie clinching and stuff like that. But never a takedown. It's well, – as an amateur, that's what you knew about Perry Sturgill. Is you fear his, his grappling, his takedowns. But as a pro, right. he's been – all striking. Yeah, all striking. Uh, big head kick. And Perry threw the jab out before that one. Yeah, he did, and he penetrated. And right on cue. Starts off clinching. Hale turns and gets out. Corner calling for the body kick for Robert Hale. Right there underneath the left arm. Minute left into the third round. There's the body kick that they've called for. Yeah, Hell's listening really well to his corners. Everything they call, he's throwing. Oh, big knee up the middle. Step in, jumping knee for Perry Stargell. Straight left lands there. Hale returns a straight right. 30 seconds remaining in the third and, and final regulation round. <laughs> then we get the championship round. Yeah, then we get championship See, round. See, Perry's starting to turn it on a little bit in this third. That's what he's got to do. And then the argument is, after this third, I mean, hey, does Perry have to get a finish? I mean, that's worth talking about. Well, every round has been close. It has. Very close. The third round was certainly closer than the second. I you, think the second round was is the only one so far that was clearly in favor of Perry. 100%. I mean, you could say you could give Perry that third round. I don't know. I mean, it was close. I wouldn't want to be a judge on this. No, one. no, not at all. I mean, that happened three times. Right, right there with the straight left. I mean, all the way back. He knocked them all the way back to the cage panel. And judges don't forget that. No, not at all. But judges don't forget, too, when your nose is running like a faucet either. That's a true. A lot of judges look at that, and they're like, oh, man, he's getting beat. Yep. Maybe he's not getting beat. It's right. a fight, man. You get your nose. It is what it is. And that's just the harsh reality of judges. Now, you know, these Georgia judges have been pretty on, spot on right. tonight. Right, they have. So... And I, Andy, I just, that's Terrence McKinney wins via rear naked. So, congratulations to Terrence McKinney, man. T Rex, another victory for the B2 boys. What a good dude, yes. B2's having a hell of a night tonight. Fourth round. Now he's, he went back to the jab, starting to throw that jab out there. See, that opens up that body kick on the right side. There you go. Perry's got to go. I mean, he can't just sit there and let Robert bounce around him and, and, and throw leg kicks and jabs at him all night. Nice. Robert Hill's just so good at slipping away, man. He's gone. Back and forth, back and forth action, starting the fourth round. Straight left landing for Stargell there, mostly blocked. Certainly gaining some respect though. Right. 
chin. Very tough for Robert Hale. It's like his corner said, you got to punch first before you throw that kick. Throwing that jab out. It's been effective all night for Robert Hill. Perry's looking to counter. And Hill seeing that, that left high kick. He's been seeing it since the first round. Saying I got tape on my hand, start to say. Oh yeah, I guess we can. Nice one two by Peter. Oh, nice and a straight return. right landing for Hale. Very nice return. And Beautiful just a, return. Just a, a, a scientific fight here between Hale and Starjo. Very measured. Kick to the body. Starjo catches it. Thinks about a takedown for a second, but Hill's shoving away. <laughs> Nate Williams telling his teammate Robert Hill, follow that with punches. He's talking about the kick. Right, or, or punches before the kick, one right. or the other. You just have to mix it up. The problem is, it, you know, you have to be aware if you're throwing five or six shots at a time against Perry Starjoy. True, and here's the thing, and, and, and I'm going to contradict myself, but the thing about it is, is Perry's got to throw more than just one or two punches, right, in the combination. He does it because Hell's out, and he's already created another angle, but he's got to be able to set some combinations up. I mean, Robert Hell's going to dance around that all night, just throwing one out. One strike, one strike. to the fourth round. Oh, that's a big shot right there by Stargell. Robert eats it. Hale's got a hell of a chin. Man, he does, man. He doesn't get hit much, but when he does, he, he can take it. Very close. But he threw the jab in front of it. 30 seconds remaining in the fourth round. Oh, straight left landing. See, I like that. Hill's, Hill's circling. Now, this round was very close. It was. Out of the way there. <laughs> he barely skated out of the way. These guys all over the place. Close fifth fight, and, man. Fifth and final round coming up. This, I mean, the fifth round couldn't win it. It could be two to two. It you could be two know. to two. You, you never know. You never know. But at the same time, it's so close. Both of these corners got to be telling these guys, hey, man, you got to get a finish. You've got to look for the finish. But I will say this. Third time Robert Hill's fought for us. It's the best he's ever looked. 100%. 100%. I'm just worried that, you know, the, the bruises and the bloody nose on the face of Stargell will sway the judges. Win. Oh, yeah. When it should not. You just don't know. You don't know, man. That's the thing. It, it's, it's close. A very close fight. I would love to see Hill, I mean, Charge will go for broke. Hell, if he just keeps doing what he's doing, he, he's scoring. Right. Especially when he starts using that jab. He's only got away from that jab a few times, and that's when Perry's really scoring. All right. We're hugging between rounds. Fifth and final round here. I have a good feeling you'll see Stargell into the gas tank. Oh, yeah. Big implications. You 
know, throughout the whole fight, I mean, Roberts only been hit hard a few times with them left hands, but Perry's busted up from them jabs in the first round. Right. Oh, straight left lands flush for Starzl there. I mean, in the fifth round, that punch is this fast. Lightning. Both guys landing shots there. Nice head movement by Stargell. Head kick by Robert Hale. I would like to see Robert Hale bring the kick inside the leg. Perhaps. I would too. Big head nice. kick for Stargell. Stargell stalking now. Hell regains ground. A little bit of blood on the face of Hale. Cut open a little bit. You cannot coast here if you're Hale. You can't. No, you can't coast at all. You're never safe. And I'm wondering if that's what he's, that's what he's doing. Perry's really stalking. He needs, to, he needs to keep moving forward. Three minutes left. If I was the corner of hell, I'd be calling for it. You know, teams. Yes, teams to keep him out, right? To keep that range, to stay out. Stay away. Halfway through the fifth and final round here. Corner calling for Hale to get active with the jab and keep that lead foot outside. That, that's when he has his most success, when he has that jab going, that jab's living. That's where he does a very good job. And that's when them kicks come off that jab too. It opens it up. Perry's stalking him. And Perry still looks as fresh as he did in the first round. Trading kicks here. Oh, and Perry, the sportsman, points and says, I caught you in the groin there in between the kicks. And now Hale will have up to five minutes. It's a close fight, man. We got everybody around the barrier right here. That's right. <laughs> Short time remaining. These guys are back to action. Got everybody right here. They're throwing the throw. Two minutes left in this title fight. Nice body kick right there by Robert Hale that got in. You got a minute 48, let's go. Less than two minutes left. And Hale is always moving, so even when you land your yeah. big shots, they're just glancing. Yeah, he never gets hit flush, you know, really, ever. Short time remaining here. Stargell's gonna ramp it up. Robert Hale has danced around for nearly 25 minutes and hasn't stopped. Nice jab right there. Stiff jab the landing kick. Hale. What you call for, help to stop Perry. High guard for Robert Hale in these exchanges. One minute remaining. Oh, it's a little bit of takedown. Well, hell, that could have definitely solidified a round if you get the takedown. Oh, Stargell big stepping elbow. in with elbows. Stargell stalking, looking for that big left hand. Double unders for Hale. Stargell posts. Yeah, Hale's looking to get it to the ground and solidify the round, which is smart. Ten seconds remaining. They gotta go. Man, what a fight. What, what a, a five-round fight, fight. Five-round war. Five-round war between Perry Sargell and Robert Hale. What a fight. 
Good fight. Beautiful job. I'm telling you, man, that's uh, that's a tight decision. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I'm not even going to, I have no idea. This replay just, man, that, that overhand left right there, but that wasn't the key for Robert Hill tonight. It was the jab. It was, and, and more importantly than the jab, Packer, it was his movement, his footwork, his head movement. Perry, he did great. I think he had a good game plan coming in, wanting to counter and uh, bring it into the fifth round or the latter rounds, but he really started to turn it up. I don't know, man. Entertaining, so technical. I would, I would probably say, that Robert Hill won the fight. I would probably give it to Hale. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would too. But it, but it was very close. Every round was very close. Both guys landing good shots here. Yeah, both busted up, you yeah. know. But what's so crazy, five round fight, Hale got busted up in the first. Hell got busted up in the fifth. <laughs> right. So, you know. Yeah, Stargell was spending the uh, entire fight bleeding out yeah, of his nose. Yeah, he was. Hell took a good shot under the right eye. What a fight between these guys. And the body energy just tells me that it looks like Perry thinks he lost. Yeah. Or, I don't know. He's, well, I you mean, know, Perry's always chill. that way. He's yeah, chill, he's a chill man. guy. He looks disappointed. He does. He just looks disappointed on stuff. The way he was talking to Pender, kind of looked disappointed. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Let's yep. wrap this yep. one up. Here Here's is. Gina Lucille. Ladies and gentlemen, winner by unanimous decision out of the red corner, Robert King Hale. So Robert King Hale. Your V2 Body Series welterweight champion.